Lift your head up, cause you're a star. Be strong, boy, know who you are. Papa said, knock them out. Yeah, I'm gonna knock them out. Papa said, knock them out. Come on. You're calling a comeback. Yeah. I've been here for years. Rocking my pants, putting suckers in fear. I'm gonna take this itty bitty world by storm. And I'm just in war. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> So I'm here with Common, and I mean, just with my career as a journalist, I've seen you from like Source Awards, BET, just saw you at the Emmy Awards, yeah. and now, you know, we're seeing you doing animations. It's just great to see you like progress so much in, in all these arts, and I don't, you also have a book, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel blessed to have like, to be a part of like Happy Feet 2. And, and then the goal would be able to have my book come out and have my new album coming out. It's, it's in Hell on Wheels, a TV show. It's like a blessed time. And this this film is like, this is the first time I ever was part of like an animated film where I got to do a voiceover and be a, like a part of a movie that's really so family oriented. Right, right. Now people know, you, you know, were first introduced to you from your voice and your voice work with your music, yeah. how different was it to be in the sound booth, you know, reciting lines for animated characters? It, it's different because, you know, with when I'm in the, when I'm on the mic in the booth recording a song, it's just like, everything is really pretty much written in there. But, like, when I'm going in to do a character, which I was becoming this penguin, it's like, I, I, I gotta find that voice originally, and at the same token, you know, the director needs, who George Miller, who directed it, he needs what he needs. And and the one thing that I did like, we were very, well, one of the things I really liked was that we were very into improv and, and he let it be a free, a free like energy as far as creating. You kinda gotta be if you're working with Robin Williams. I mean, yeah. cause he's gonna go off script all the time. Yeah, right? basically, <laughs> right. You got, well, when you got that type of talent, he should be able to and you and it's great when you allow it cause you, you're gonna get some gems in there. Like you're gonna get something special if you allow the, the actor to just go free for a second. Uh, a question like, how do you think, or do you think that just working on the TV and working on these films, how does that affect your music? Does it make, does it affect your artistry as a, as a it, Well, it does, it, it actually like frees up my artistry to, because I don't feel as much pressure working on, on music as much. I feel like, man, I could just make the hip hop that I want to hear, make the music that I love. And, and you know because I do have other creative outlets and other sources of, of income, so that just helps the situation and takes some of the pressure off the music. And I learned so much acting and and doing voiceover things. I learned from that, so I'm able to bring that that whole spirit and freedom to some of the music that I do. Right. And you just said you got a new album coming. I just yeah. caught one of your new videos. Oh yeah. For, for your album, Blue I mean, Sky. Yeah, Blue Sky. It seems yeah. like it's a, you got another jewel coming. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The, <laughs> The new album, um, The Dream of the Believers, December 20th coming, Blue Sky is a single out right now. And man, that that song and video is about, man, achieving your dreams, reaching your goals, and, and reaching for the sky, really. And I mean, it's one of those things that, to me that this song, that, this hip hop, and, and it, but it can appeal to a broader audience in a record like I never really even made, to be honest. And, and it still has that inspiration to it. So I'm excited about it, man. Now, Happy Feet always has discussed some issues, whether it be oil spills and now kind of global warming, yeah. but not in a forceful way. Do you think that people that would watch this movie would just kind of take into account what's happening in the Antarctica and, and oh. what we're doing to nature? I definitely believe people will, will take heed to it because I did. And, I'm, you know, every day I live my life, I'm trying to do something good in the world, but, you know, sometimes I, I don't pay as much attention to the, to the environment the way I could. And like when we were going through some of the recording of the film, I was like, man, I oh, mean, I gotta, I gotta be able to pay attention to this because this is affecting yeah. life and the, envi and the environment and Earth, the world. So I, I definitely think people will get that message. And the, and the fact that it's not being shoved down their throat, then then they can appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you for your books, for your music, okay. for now your on-screen and voice talent, man. Um, we just gotta root for you no matter what you do. You just keep on being a good person, man. Thank you. Thank All right, you. Brother.